Evening everybody. How is everyone? Just get myself through here there. Got a new little tool for the arm. <laughs> that's, that's a bye-bye. This is what I'm doing today. It is 10 past five. It's starting to rain and I'm on teas and the potatoes are still in the ground. So the idea is I'm going to try and pick as much food as I can to kind of make the meals because this is uh, smelling there. I'm just having chicken bees. I caught another bloody swarm. Look. See that little box down there? Oh, they seem to be working on that one. That was me polystyrene one. Well, they swarmed again, but well, that's another story. Oh, it's starting to rain really bad. The idea... Come on, Tony. Come on, just calm it down. Calm it down. The idea is, you see, I'm on teas and I'm a messy tea maker, I must admit. Melanie's out. She's looking after her dad tonight. And... It's Melanie's vegetarian, she's been vegetarian I think since she was 12 year old, you know what I mean? So it's steak night tonight for us because I'll splatter it everywhere, do you know what I mean? And then hopefully I get the kids to tidy it up. But I want to do, pick some veg. And I was thinking of some Caval Nero and some potatoes. That's the idea. We will wait and see. But come on, show me your toy first. It's actually a hose lock water hose because my last one has gone the distance and I like hose lock I'm a big fan of theirs but I wasn't if I'm truthful a big fan of that extendable wall normally we just get the little one but it you try and get it at the moment with kind of COVID and everything and it's just out of stock so I got the Karacha one and it was shocking I'll put a picture on what it was you know I didn't even kind of do a review or anything like that it was just it was terrible these must have like a like some sort of little pressure reducer in them so you get a nice good powerful jet that thing that came out of the karacha one was just like bleh. so sent it back but like i say i couldn't get i'll just put i'll put you down here so you can see i couldn't get the the huge should i say the usual water spray so this is like the the actual length but this and it's the same price i think actually this funky little thing bends so they say you can kind of put it on the grass and it, you know it'll do everything like that but i'm not into that i just wanted i wanted a water so i'll go and switch it on the water right let's have a look then get this switcher on oh, oh, oh. ah you see there's there's way much more pressure there than what there is with that bloody karacha one and I think the Karacha was like a £10 dearer. So there we go. Admiring the grass. <laughs> Admiring the lawn I'm growing. Right, I'll get these done. One second. That'll do for me. Yep, I like that, to be quite honest. I, not that that... that oh, I, would kind of, I think that's how you kind of set it. And you can have it like on a sprinkler but this is actually it's actually hurting my shoulder to change it it's stiffer than what you think this it's certainly not like a hose pipe but you get that pressure you get that little kind of surge where that karacha thing was just useless right then so let's go outside ah you know what it's blowing it's all wet and me <laughs> Ah, uh, mm, it's all wet and, and it'll, no, I'm going to do something else, do something inside. I wanted to pick some, I might try and pick some potatoes, you might not hear, because it, you get mist on the lens, <laughs> it just goes all blurred, it looks, it makes me look an idiot as if I'm still talking but no one can see us. Um, I'll tell you what, we'll see, we'll go back in and we'll do some chores in here, one moment, I'll just... Go keep that bloody lens there just and make sure what well i might as well do some pickings in here to be honest and i think the first thing we should do where's me is go over to the aubergine this will be my first aubergine that i grew it last year but it was just in a i didn't bother with them then i've seen charles dowden's let's put 
you down somewhere. Video on them and he bought grafted. So that's just, and I think, I think that's a nice size. His is round about that big. He didn't leave them too much bigger. There we go, look at that. Ho ho, first one. So although we're kind of still a little bit early for things, we are getting there. I've got a couple of things in. Now what can I, I'll tell you what I can get. Oh, I'll tell you before that, look at, you know the two tomatoes? There's even tomatoes on them. Down there, them two Shirley's that we planned on the 19th of April. So, but this was that little, I just shoved it here, the cucumber plant. But I've been doing, oh actually I'll show you that as well. If there's any suckers on, let's get you set up properly. I get this tomato picked for, tomato, <laughs> cucumber picked first. That's a nice little one, eh? There we go. So suckers, this is how I've been growing the tomato plants. See if I can find one that's, there's a one. So let's come in there. So there's the four bits. So there's your fruit, your leaf. Can you see, is there a, there's another one actually. There we go, what you call it, a tendril. But this is the sucker that needs to come off. Because then the, just, the tomato plants just get out of the way. And I've been leaving this one. There's one, it's just starting. So, they just get out of, the, out of control and you can it. And that's always happened with mine until I've seen that video off. Oh, I forget the name, I'll put a link if I can remember. There's a one down there. See, look at that, it's all going to start away. Now this is cheating, but I'll get a couple of these. Now I'll class these as spring onions, but they're almost like little bulby ones now of onions. I've left them a little bit too long, but great for salads still. I'll get them cleaned up. Yeah, I'll just give them a clean. Look at that, man. You'd pay a fortune for them in bloody weight rows. Anybody shopping weight rows? <laughs> look at them. Oh, Bobby Dazzlers. I'll tell you what. While I'm here, I'll take it off. Give the others a chance. Little cucumber, another one. Right. Now, come over here. <laughs> right, I'll have to do this in two, two stages. Round this way, John. Round this way. Can you see some sun gold tomatoes there as well? So, I'll get them. And they're actually nearly like fully orange but not so that's actually nice they'll keep a little bit longer for we're... it means i'll not eat them now <laughs> oh, oh i'm dropping them man i'm really dropping them i just love the sun gold right tell you what i'm gonna pick look at this my first ever cherry bomb chili Oh, oh, I'm chuffed a bit there. That's like a new one on me as well. So that's good. Now I've got, and I'm hoping that they're not like killer hot. You know what I mean? I've got a, a teeny weeny because I think this plant got knocked a little bit. Should we just go into there? Get, this is, a, <laughs> they're all tiny. These are the hot me hot wax or some of them. I'll just pull that. Look at that little baby there, <laughs> man, stunted. I've got some better ones coming there. What was that? Paul Robeson one. Ah, I think that's done this one. Well, get that off. First Paul Robeson tomato. Very nice. Now this one, I've no idea what this are, but I can see there, it's whatever it is, it's an orangey colour, yellow, so I'll get them little few there. So there's the first off this that's grown in this, e, what they're called, like, uh, from Greenhouse Sensations, like Holiday Grow, Grow, I'll have to find the name. But, this is what I'm excited about. I'm sure they might be ready now. Those Ned's Atomic, Ned's Atomic Dustbin, Ned's Atomic Grape. Let's just have a, possibly the bottom. Lots. I don't know, you see. I'll pick that one and I'll have a bite. I don't know. Possibly not. Mm. 
tough, tough old skin. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Ah. couple of days left. <laughs> there they are, man. Get that in there. Compost bin. Still a couple of days left with the <laughs> atomic grey, but great croppers on them, so that's that's worked. Got a little bit of basil in there that I could get, but I'm not gonna bother. I think that for now is a good first crop out of the polytunnel, my new polytunnel, yes. Right, it's still chucking these down. Chucking these down, I've been watching this um, science fiction program on Netflix called Dark, we're on a season three and it's German. It's fantastic, but it's so complicated. Right, shall I, I tell you what? I think I will, I think I will. So if you can, do think about subscribing, that would just be fantastic. Subscribe and hit the bell icon and then you'll get told about every new video that comes up. You'll automatically get told that when it's out, which is a bonus, isn't it? And you get to just see, the, the, <laughs> you do get to see the highs and the lows. Yeah, we'll be on a nice height here, we're picking veg. But there is times on, in anyone's garden where yeah, sometimes things don't go right. And I show all here. So subscribe and give a little thumbs up, that would be fantastic. <laughs> Excuse me, <laughs> that was very unprofessional. If I don't get these out now, I'll never get them out. <sighs> Mind that, I didn't hurt the shoulder as much. Look at that man, racing horse. Now hey, where do I put them? One more. <laughs> so I've put one there. I don't know where it is. There was actually a fruit on there and I cut it off because everyone says your first fruit. So I'll probably leave a couple of fruits on. And this is the butternut squash. Now I've always wanted to put it in this corner or this area and hopefully try and trail it along the back of there. I think I'll try and get some potatoes. I mean, these are all main crop potatoes. So I'm hoping what I'm trying to go for is to get like a newish looking potato so I can have them as new potatoes. I didn't bother with new potatoes, but they've got that many in there. Now I did have the other day, we had some, and they were lovely, but they were the Desiree ones. I'm going to try and get the Pink Lady's Fingers. I think these are them. Pink Fur, Pink Lady's Fingers, Pink Fur Apples. There's one on that corner. I'll try and do that. Now, I didn't cut out the roots anymore. You know what I mean? Sorry, the... Yeah, I'm not making much of it. I didn't put holes in there, but they've come through. But next time I'm going to put bigger holes in these tubs and bury them in. So I'm trying. I'll go and get me produce one second. Oh, look at that going down my knees on the bloody wet floor. I don't want to empty the full plant. I've seen a lotman diary do this. I don't know what that is. Where it just digs in and keeps keeps the plant going so I don't know if it's oh there we go look at there's a little little tiddler right so that's all I'm actually after to be honest just little ones just to oh yes these are just on the top of this the plant actually so I'm hoping they go all the way down the bizarre looking ones look at that man <laughs> bizarre looking potato, so nice tasty though. There you go, I'll shove that back in there, I can't. There you are, the exact size I was after, to be honest, so I'm chuffed a bit. I don't, wanna, I don't know how many is in that, I don't know if I've wrecked the plant or not, but nice little summer hole there. 
Yes. If you haven't tried these pink fur apples, honestly, they're just going to taste all of their own. So while I'm out, I'm going to get one more thing then. I could get more too, but I've had a, we've had a picking of them. So look at how many there is on there, man. Honestly, we're, we're trying our damnedest to get, to get through them. Now, I think it's Terry, or maybe Jim, to use the leaves, the bottom leaves of these Advantage cabbages, because they're, they're hard up and then they just kind of throw them away, you know what I mean? And it'll get mouldy and that. So I'm going to pick some of them leaves and have them like a, like a winter green, not winter greens, like spring greens. I should probably just need to... They're a lovely leaf, mind you. So. There you go. Just give it a little junk. Oh, fantastic. There you go, there's tea. There's tea all sorted. Well, potatoes and cabbage. Can you have a salad as well? <laughs> Possibly. Anyway, oh, I think that'll do for me. It is a bit wet, but still lovely coming up here, man. Fantastic. So look after yourselves. Take good care.